Chinese Indonesian cuisine Indonesian, Masakan Tianghoa Indonesia is characterized by the mixture of Chinese with local Indonesian style. Chinese Indonesians brought their legacy of Chinese cuisine, and modified some of the dishes with the addition of Indonesian ingredients, such as ketchup manis sweet soy sauce, palm sugar, peanut sauce, chili, santan coconut milk, and local spices to form a hybrid Chinese-Indonesian cuisine. Some of the dishes and cakes share the same style as in Malaysia and Singapore which are known as the Nanya cuisine by the Peranakan. Chinese cuisine legacy Chinese influences are evident in Indonesian food, with several quintessential Chinese favorite has made their way into mainstream Indonesian culinary scene. Popular Chinese Indonesian foods including bakmi, mie ayam, pangsit, bakso, lumpia, kwetiao goreng and mie goreng. Chinese culinary culture is particularly evident in Indonesian cuisine through the Hokkien, Hakka, and Cantonese loanwords used for various dishes. Words beginning with bak ru signify the presence of meat, e.g. bakpao, meat bun. Words ending with kai, kai signify vegetables, e.g. pakai, Chinese white cabbage, and kap kai. Mixed vegetables. Also, mi or mie mian signify noodle as in mi goreng. Fried noodle. Most of these loanwords for food dishes and their ingredients are Hokkien in origin and are used throughout the Indonesian language and vernacular speech of large cities. Because they have become an integral part of the local language, many Indonesians and ethnic Chinese do not recognize their Hokkien origins. Some of popular Indonesian dishes such as nasi goreng, mi goreng, bihan, kwetiao, lumpia and bakpa can trace their origin to Chinese influence. Some food and ingredients are part of the daily diet of both the indigenous and ethnic Chinese populations as side dishes to accompany rice, the staple food of most of the country. Chinese influence is so evident in cities with large Chinese settlements since colonial era, especially in Jakarta, Serban, Semarang, Surabaya, Maidan, Palembang and Pontianak. As the result numbers of mi noodle and tahu tofu recipes were developed in these cities. Chinese influence is so evident in Batawi people native Jakartans cuisines that basically was formed as Peranakan culture, as the result Batawi people held Chinese Indonesians dishes such as asinan and rujak juhi as theirs. To a certain extent, Javanese in Semarang, Solo, and Surabaya also willingly absorbs Chinese culinary influences, as the result they also considered Chinese-influenced dishes such as mi goreng, lumpia, bakso, and tahu gunting as theirs. Because food is so prevalent in Chinese culture as Chinese families often allocate their quality time to go eating out—just like banquet customs commonly found in Chinese communities worldwide. Many pechinan Chinatowns in Indonesian cities are well known as the culinary hot spots of the city, with rows of shops and restaurants. As Chinese and also native Indonesians establishing their food business, many eating establishments sprung up, from humble street side cart hawker to fancy restaurants offering their specialty. Areas such as Glodok, Pasenangan, and Kalapa Gading in Jakarta, Gardu Jati in Bandung, Kya Kya Kambang Jepan in Surabaya, and Pechinans in Serban, Semarang, Solo and Maidan are teeming with lots of warungs, shops and restaurants, not only offering Chinese Indonesians dishes, but also local and international cuisines. <laughs> Adaptation to local cuisine The Indonesian Chinese cuisine also vary with locations. For example, in different parts of Java the dishes are adapted to local culture and taste, in return Chinese Indonesians residing in this region also had developed a taste for local cuisine. In central Java, the food tends to be much sweeter, while in west Java it is saltier. In east Java, Chinese food there is more salty and savory with a preference of pettis shrimp paste. In Maidan, North Sumatra and also in Ponchanak, West Kalimantan, a more traditional Chinese style can be found. Chinese cuisine in Indonesia also have absorbed local preference of spicy food and local ingredients. For example, it is common to have sambal chili sauce, a car pickles and sprinkle of bawang goreng crispy fried shallot as condiment. Chinese cuisine influences on Indonesian cuisine is evident in Indonesian take on Chinese dishes, such as mie goreng, lumpia, bakso and somai. However the culinary influences is also taken another way around. 
Vice versa, Chinese Indonesian also been influenced by native Indonesian cuisine. It is believed that lontong kap gome is a Chinese Indonesian take on traditional Indonesian dishes. The dish reflect the assimilation among Chinese immigrants with local community, because Indonesia is Muslim majority country, some of ingredients were replaced to create a halal Chinese food, by replacing pork with chicken or beef, and replacing lard with palm oil or chicken fat. Most of Chinese eating establishments with significant Muslim native Indonesian clientele would do so. However, in Chinatowns in major Indonesian cities where there is significant Chinese and non-Muslim population, Chinese restaurants that serve pork dishes such as babi ketchup pork belly in soy sauce, char su, crispy roast pork, sweet pork sausage and sat babi pork satay are available. There are different styles of Chinese food in Indonesia. Traditional Chinese food, such as the Teochew, Hokkien, Hakka dishes. Chinese Indonesian food with recipes borrowed from local Indonesian cuisine, Dutch and other European cuisine. Chinese dishes adapted to the local culture and taste, such as replacing pork with chicken or beef to make it halal. New style Chinese food with chefs from China, Hong Kong or Taiwan. <laughs> List of Chinese Indonesian food Most of the times, the name of Chinese Indonesian foods are preserved from its original Chinese Hokkien name e.g. bakmi, bakpao, lakupan, lumpia, swiki. However, sometimes the name are derived from the translation of its meanings, ingredients or process in Indonesian e.g. babi ketchup, kakap asam manis, kambang tahu, nasi tim. Dishes. <laughs> <laughs> Asinan – cured brined preserved vegetables in thin peanut sauce with krupuk mie. Ayam kluik – chicken in sweet and sour sauce. Babi ketchup – pork belly in ketchup manis sweet soy sauce and spices. Bakchang or bakang – glutinous rice stuffed with meat usually pork and wrapped in bamboo leaf in triangular more precisely, tetrahedral form. Bakmi – noodles which are adapted to different styles and regions. Each city has its own recipe for noodles or mie, e.g. Bakmi Jawa, Bakmi Shantar, Bakmi Maidan, Bakmi Makassar, Bakmi Bangka, etc. Bakmi comes from the Hokkien pronunciation for meat noodle. Bakpao, Chinese steamed bun, stuffed with chicken, meat usually pork, sweetened mung beans or red beans paste. Bakso, Bakso is the Hokkien pronunciation for shredded meat. Bakwan, bakwan is the Hokkien pronunciation for meat ball, usually made from beef. Bihan goreng, fried thin rice noodle with spices and chili darkened with ketchup manis. Kap kai, named for the Hokkien word for a mixture of various types of vegetables. Usually served as stir-fried mixed vegetables with chicken when ordered as a la carte. Kakwe, Chinese cruller or fried long bread, served with sweet, sour and spicy dipping sauce. Cha Sio, a barbecued pork, usually served with rice, eggs, and cucumber, commonly found in Maidan. Fu Yung Hai, sometimes spelled Pu Yung Hai, is a type of omelette filled with vegetables and meat, usually crab meat, shrimp, or minced chicken, served in sweet and sour sauce. Hisam Cah, stir fried tripang with garlic, onion, hioko mushroom, scallion, minced chicken, soy sauce, and oyster sauce. Ifu mie, dried noodle in thick sauce with meat or seafood. Ikan malas tim, steamed, lazy fish, or batutu fish marble gobi in ginger and soy sauce. Kakap asam manis, red snapper in sweet and sour sauce. Kakap tahu tau si, red snapper with tofu and dushi in tauko sauce. Kekian, minced prawn roll sometimes replaced with fish or chicken, mixed with tapioca, egg, garlic, salt and pepper. Similar with go hiang, but with simpler seasoning without five spice powder. Could be steamed or fried and eaten by itself, or sliced and stir-fried mixed in other dishes such as kap kai. Kepiting sauce tiram, crab in oyster sauce. Kwetiao ayam, boiled flat noodle with diced chicken. Kwetiao goreng, fried flat noodle similar to char kwai tiao. Kwetiao saram sapi, flat noodle with beef in thick gravy. Kuping babi ketchup, pork ear in sweet soy sauce. 
Laksa, spicy noodle soup of Peranakan cuisine, prominent in neighboring Malaysia and Singapore, Indonesian version are laksa Batawi and laksa Bogor. Lindung Cah Fumak, eel with stir fried Indian lettuce and fermented red rice. Lumpia, a fresh spring roll of Hokkien, Chaojo style origin. Lontong Kap Go Meh, lontong in rich coconut milk with chicken opor ayam, liver in chili, sayur lode, and teller pindang. Marbled egg. A Chinese Indonesian take on Indonesian cuisine's dishes served during festive Kap Go Meh. Lakupan, a Chinese Indonesian name for Lao Shu Fen, short. Rat's tail like noodle. Mie ayam, chicken noodle, yellow wheat noodle topped with diced chicken meat, seasoned with soy sauce, and usually served with a chicken broth soup. Mie champur or bak mi champur, assorted meat noodle, yellow wheat noodle topped with an assortment of Chinese barbecue, such as char su, crispy roast pork, and sweet pork sausage. Noodle counterpart of Chinese Indonesian nasi champur. Mie goreng, fried noodle with spices and chili darkened with ketchup manis. Mie curing, dried noodle in thick sauce. Mie rebus, boiled noodle. Mie tarik, lit. Pulled noodle. A local name for lamin. Mie yamin, chicken noodle in sweet soy sauce, similar to mie ayam but with sweeter taste acquired from ketchup manis. Moon tahu, silken tofu with shrimp and minced chicken braised in thick white sauce. Nasi champur, in Chinese Indonesian version, it is rice with an assortment of Chinese barbecue, such as char su, crispy roast pork, sweet pork sausage, and pork satay. Nasi goreng, fried rice with spices and chili, often add ketchup manis, but another variant may differ. Nasi tim, steamed chicken rice served with chicken brew soup. Go hiang, minced meat roll, pork, chicken, fish, or prawn seasoned with five spice powder. Otak Otak, steamed and grilled fish cake in banana leaf package, made of fish meat and spices served with spicy peanut sauce. Pangsit goreng, kua, fried wonton or wonton soup. Pao, which is the Chinese word for bun, sometimes written as bak pao, literally meaning meat bun, which is a bun with meat fillings. Bak is the Hokkien pronunciation for meat. Pempek, a savory fish cake made of softly ground wahoo fish and tapioca served with spicy vinegar and palm sugar sauce. Specialty of Palembang City. According to the local legend, the name derived from A Pek to call the elderly Chinese man that invented and sold the dish. Rujak juhi or mie juhi, similar with asinan, cured brined preserved vegetables in thin peanut sauce with krupuk mie, but with addition of yellow noodle and juhi salted cuttlefish. Rujak Shanghai, preserved seafood and jellyfish with vegetables and sweet and sour sauce. Sat Babi, pork satay can be found in Chinatowns in Indonesian cities, especially around Glodok, Pasenangan, and Senan in the Jakarta area. It is also popular in Bali which the majority are Hindus, and also popular in the Netherlands. Sapo tahu tofu in clay pot, sapo which is the Chinese word for clay pot, the most popular variant is sapo tahu, silken egg tofu with vegetables, chicken or seafood, cooked in clay pot to keep it warm. Sekba, a traditional Chinese soup mainly consists of pork offals intestine, tripe, lung, liver, heart, tongue, ear and nose, with egg, tofu and salted vegetables, served in spiced broth. Soto, is a traditional soup mainly composed of broth, meat and vegetables. Soto mie, is a spicy noodle soup dish. Somai, steamed finely ground fish dumplings, similar to Chinese dim sum, but Indonesian version usually served in spicy peanut sauce. Sup hizit, shark fin soup. Sup sarong burring, edible bird's nest soup. Swiki, frog legs dish. Tahu bandung or tahu yun yi, firm but soft tofu with yellow skin coated with turmeric, specialty of bandung city. Usually served fried or stir-fried. Tahu goreng, fried tofu with peanut sauce or sweet soy sauce with chopped chili. Tao hu also comes from the Chinese word for bean curd. Tahu tauko, tofu in tauko sauce. Taj tahu, sometimes shortened to ge hu, stir-fried bean sprout and tofu. Teller asin, salted duck egg. Teller pitten, black colored preserved duck egg. Teller teh, tea egg. Tim dodging, steamed minced meat usually pork and eggs. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Desserts and sweets. Bakpa, sweet mung bean filled pastry from Fujian origin. In Indonesia, it is also widely known as bakpa pathak, named after a suburb of Yogyakarta which specializes in the pastry. Singkau, grass jelly drink served with shaved ice, coconut milk and sugar. Dodol china, or Chinese dodol, the local name for nian gao. The sweet treat of glutinous rice with palm sugar cake is locally known as dodol. Kambang tahu, soft tofu pudding in sweet ginger and sugar syrup. Kuachi, edible dried and salted watermelon seed or sunflower seed. Q bulan, local name for Chinese mooncake. Q ku, Chinese origin Q of sticky rice flour with sweet filling. The same as Chinese, ang ku kue, red tortoise cake. Q mochi, glutinous rice filled with peanut paste and covered with sesame seeds. Nopia, palm sugar filled pastry smaller size than bakpa. In Indonesia it is associated with town of Purbalinga and Banyumas in central Java. Owned owned, fried glutinous rice ball filled with peanut paste and covered with sesame seeds, local name for Jin Deui. Sakotang, a ginger-based hot drink which includes peanuts, diced bread, and pakar china, can be found in Jakarta, West Java, and Yogyakarta. See also Peranakan cuisine equals equals notes <laughs>